Hey, thanks for tuning in. In this video, we'll look inside the box and then build the engine for this 125th AMT 1962 Thunderbird. As I mentioned earlier, I happened to see this at the model store and decided to add it to the stash. Let's look at what's in the box. I can't remember having instructions like this in poster format. You have two different engine options, which seem to be dependent on the carburation system. Tri-power is what I'm going with. So the chrome tree on this isn't bad. Different tail lights. Can't escape flash. One guess for which tires I'm using. I must compliment AMT on how they've packaged this. Spot on. The paint job needs to work with the lavender compatible decals if you use them, as you can see here. I finished this over a weekend and have just been waiting for the ignition wiring to come. So here's everything for the engine. Just an example of the flash. At least it came off with relative ease. The plastic wasn't as dense as that Racer 5 kit. Here's everything for part A cleaned up. It indexes at the gearbox, but not in the crankcase. I decided to align it via the slot in the front. I'm using quick setting here. It aligned at the oil pan and the opening, but it was a little off here. I think that gap is from earlier sanding. Layering on some Mr. Surfacer 1000, it'll start to cook off really fast, becoming tacky. We stipple it on tank mufflers to give it a rough or flaked surface. After sanding, I smooth it out with some extra thin. Before and after. After sanding, of course, the chrome is gone. I didn't have any chrome remover, so I used Mr. Color Thinner. It works well, not too fast, and the plastic is fine. After priming, I inspected all the parts and most needed more cleaning.
In hindsight, I might have painted the crankcase red or blue, just to add some visual interest. This stuff is great. You need to snap it apart to get a chunk. If you do it slow, it will taffy out. Just a little touch-up required. I've thinned this to airbrush consistency, so it won't gunk up those depressions. The carburetor will only go on in one way. I'm lucky I didn't break that. I kept trying to make it go on flat. It slants up towards the back. After priming and painting, I noticed then that it had a seam. I guess I didn't hit record. I know this isn't an accurate color. I just happen to love it. I hardly ever get to use it.
Most of the parts had very nice indexing. I think the paint thickness was the difference. I thought that box would sit over something, but it's open. The tab was way too long. I'm using mineral spirits to make the effect more subtle. I took this from a spare airplane decal sheet. I reset that exhaust piece. I realized watching this it wasn't on exactly. I thought adding ignition wires would elevate it and add some color. I tried making my own with 26 gauge copper wire and Vallejo yellow, but it cracked when I tried to shape it. As supplies go, this stuff was dirt cheap, less than four bucks. And here it is. I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to bounce back to the bow fighter and try to get the Lands Bulldog tractor done for the civilian group build. Thanks so much for watching. Be well and happy modeling.